in the French Foreign Legion, we were usually the Capiblo. This is kind of symbol of the Légion Étrangère. And when we are in the garrison, in the daily duty, in operations, even in operations, we change the Capi Blanc with the berry, where? With the green berry. This is my old one from the second rep. But when we are penetrating deep into the forest of French Guyana, no way. So we are wearing the chapeau de brousse. Ladies and gentlemen, please follow me into the forest of French Guyana. And in the last clip, I explained the mission profound, but this time I will be more detailed as it concerns the technical organization of the part Boots on the Ground. I see you after the intro. Bye bye. Thomas Gass. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. In my next, last clip, I explained to you how we legionnaires run the Mission Profonde. To remember, Mission Profonde means or meant 30 days in the jungle from Kuru, Cayenne, Regina, using the river Oyapok, Kamopi, 50 kilometers, boots on the ground, marching towards the jungle. Inini River, heading on the Maroni north and ending up in Saint Laurent or Saint Jean du Maroni. 30 days sweat, 30 days blood, 30 days rain. Excellent. Today I will explain you a technical side or the side of organization of the part boots on the ground. Our team leader who was platoon leader, was Lieutenant Chavancy, later on two stars general and military governor of the city of Lyon, split our platoon in six parts. So, six parts. The first part, the first equipe, the first team, was the team of topographic. The topographic team had the mission to lead the way, to lead the way. And their main instrument was this kind of boussole or compass. Of course, we did use the boussole or the compass silver, was better than this one. But anyway, three men. The three men was the first team to leave in the morning. So generally they left with the first sunlight. And how did they proceed? Easy way. Our Second in charge was using as instrument this compass and he was given to one legionnaire a perch, kind of pole, six meters high, five or six meters high and he took off before the bark of this pool. So we had kind of white shimmer in the upper part and then he sent it to this legionnaire straight ahead in the right direction until he could hardly see still see 
the white part of the pool. Then he says stop. He took his instrument, his compass, adjusted it, adjusted it. You have to take care of our declination, of course, very important. And then right, 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 left, 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 stop, don't move. Compass in the pocket and here we are. And this the whole day. So it's a very hard job, but it's a very important job. Because if you make mistake of one degree, left or right, in the end of the day, you're lost in jungle. Phoenix, no way. So, the team Topographic was the first team also to encounter all the dangers in the forest. Because, because they had it in front of everybody. They encountered, had rendezvous with poison dart frogs. They are yellow red or orange, very dangerous, with snakes like Bushmasters, Fer de Lance, with uh, black caimans, very dangerous, or also with hornets, we call it mouche à feu. It's not funny, <laughs> I tell you, it's not funny. The second team, second team was the athletes. The athletes, show you this one, get it? The athletes work was with their machete to engrail the trees on the left and the right side of the path. To engrail that there is always on each tree a white shimmer the next team can follow. You know? So nobody is lost. You can find the way easily because in the jungle it's very dark and you can see the white shimmer and you can follow the path. Done by the athletes. So, the athletes team are close to the topographical team. Huh? They are almost together. And both teams only carry their bag, rucksack, and also their weapon and their machete. Stop. The next team. The team of the Leonor. Leonor. This one. The Leon is the pass. So, this work, it was one group. Strange one group. This work consisted to, uh, how can I say, to beat the pass with a larger of about 70 75 centimeters to make possible that the next team with the heavy loaded teams can pass through. And the larger is exactly the, the, the longer of our FAMAS, of our weapon, right? So, this was a very hard job. They have to take away all the trees, all the bushes within the larger of the path. Very important job. If it's well done, no problem for the others to follow. If it's not well done, no way. Leoners only carry their bag, only carry their weapon. When I say bag or rucksack, I mean 25 kilos. It's okay. The next team is the team, the big bosses, headquarters, commandement. In this team, you can find the boss, the team leader, the platoon leader. You can find the RT unit, radio transmission. They are heavy loaded because they have the big BLU, Bond Lateral Unique, and also all the batteries and stuff, a lot of batteries. You know, 30 days in the jungle, you need a lot of batteries. Here are the heavy, heavy weapons, like anti-tank weapon, like machine gun, like ammunition, and all this stuff, right? The next team are, it's a tough team, Porter, and as the name tells you, they have to carry all the stuff we need to stay 30 days with 30 men in the forest, chainsaws. Petrol for them, heavy ropes about 50 meters long, explosive stuff 120 kilo, ammunition, food for 30 legionnaires for 30 days, and so on and so on. As porter, you carry about 50 kilos on your back and sometimes more. You have one bag, rucksack in the back, one in front, 
and a chainsaw cross your shoulder. So, very tough affair. And as a porter, you can be a very isolated man. Because when you looking ahead, you don't see nothing about jungle. When you're looking back, hard to do, you see nothing, you see nobody. You are marching the whole day without seeing anyone. So, the porters normally have, in the morning, they leave two hours behind the, the first team to leave. So, they have time. When they finish, when they're ending up with the coffee, they have time to smoke cigarettes, to have small talk, and looking at the watch, two hours after the topo team, they can go on. The last team is the team of topo fill. What is a topo fill? A topo fill is kind of iron metal box, a metal box, iron metal box, right? And within this metal box, you have a cordon, like a line, a fine line. And this line you have to fix on a tree, so it can de-roll when you're, when you're marching. You hold it in your hand, the box in your hand, you are marching, following the others, the path, and the line is de-rolling, and it measures and shows you, via counter, the distance. So, first team for direction, topography, last team for distance. Both teams are very important. Mistakes, you will never finish this mission. The last word I will tell you today is the part we used, boots on the ground. So we are walking on the Chemin des Emerillons, the pass of the, em of the lost Emerillon Indian pass. And on this pass, there's only a few European people were marching, were using. So, this one, this mission, especially this part, is one of the last adventures a free man can live in our world. This is amazing. And when you are confronted with the jungle, with the amazing jungle, the trees are generally, generally 70 meters high, you feel how small men are. And you feel the importance of everything, of the wood, of the forest, of every tree, of all animals living here. It's amazing. You feel close to earth. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. And I welcome you when I show you my next clip in about one week. When we come together again, when I tell you my adventures in French Guiana. One last word to find my channel, it's easy, go to Thomas Gast, go to my playlist, open the playlist, the only one, with an English language, and here we are. Thank you, see you next, Thomas Gast.